Weep Nation, what's going on? Short Gaming here, back with another video. And in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is that I'm not even going to be opening the big time AS Roma pack. Because I'm actually looking at it and I'm realizing that this pack is actually not that good. Just, I mean, if you're a Roma fan, you can get this pack. But honestly, there are, there are even player of the week cards that are better than some of these cards. Based on the ratings that I'm seeing on Pest Hub, you know what I'm saying? When you, like, I, I guess, train these players it's not the best to really even use them if you get what i'm trying to say so i wouldn't waste because keep in mind this is a card or this is a pack with not with 150 players in there that means that theoretically you need 15,000 coins or if you do it by the 900 it would have been 900 times 15,000 which would be 9 times 10 is 9,000 plus uh, 9 times 5 is 4,500 so that do 13,500 coins which would have saved you i guess 1,500 coins you know what i'm saying so that it would have taken you 13,500 coins to clear this entire pack if you were if you had to clear the entire pack to get a player that you so wanted let's say for instance you wanted smalling or pellegrini or tommy abram so first i was going to get into whatever the case may be i'm just going to tell you guys what is what so when you look at it tommy abram he's a fox in the box very good player as i said he is not like a world-class player he's a player that can score goals though so he has been very successful because you know he won the conference league with roma under jose Mourinho, whatever the case may be so yes he has a few actually he's won a lot of trophies you know what i'm saying he's won a lot of trophies you know he's won every single european trophy actually he's won the champions league they used the the europa league and the conference league so literally he's actually won every single european or something but the crazy thing about it is that he's 101 rated like in this thing and he's a fox in the box but his stats aren't that good and i'm gonna compare him to a player and i'm gonna show you guys that hey you don't need this card and then you have pellegrini pellegrini is orchestrator you get what i'm gonna try to say orchestrator is somebody who sits deep and likes to play like he sits deep and he likes to play the balls forward plays like a pulse schools so they're basically press resistant that means that they get the ball under pressure they're able to execute proper passes whether it's long balls or short passes whatever the case may be so he's very good but i'm pretty sure his base card can give you the same that this card can give you this card yeah it have a little boost and yeah it have a boost is ball carrying but it's not that effective you don't really need to don't waste your money on this pack unless you're like a Serie A lover or you love AS Roma. So if this was a Manchester United pack, yes, I would have opened it. But these cards aren't that good. I'm gonna become I'm keeping it a book with you guys. Save your money. That's what I think. Save your money. That's what I genuinely think. Smalling now. Smalling is actually a center back, a build up. He's a build up player, very tall, 194 centimeters. So he's very good. He's good for heading. But at the end of the day, a Van Dyke card would always be better than Smalling. A Rafael Varan card will always be better than Smalling. A Matt Delit card will always be better than Smalling. Even if the stats from Smalling depict that he's better than those cards that I just named a while ago, it still doesn't make any sense that you waste your coins to get him. If you get what I'm trying to say. But we're gonna get into the stats. I'm gonna show you guys some comparisons, and you guys are gonna be like, "Yeah, we don't need to get this card." But I don't, I don't know what his boosting is. His boosting is probably defensive. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shutdown. There's a shutdown one. See, so increase the defensive. Yeah, defensive awareness, tackling defensive engagement speed and player stats so i'm going to show you guys right now on pest hub so let's go so let's just say for arguments this is pellegrini right i have compared pellegrini with paul schools this isn't even a booster chip player card by paul schools this is a um regular card from paul schools like it's just an epic card from paul schools and paul schools stats are basically similar to that of pellegrini and we all know that pellegrini isn't as good as paul schools you get me even the dipping shot fighting spirit heading etc like bro this man have malicia low lofted passing captaincy rising shot through but like bro like all right let me just for argument's sake add in we're gonna put in cruz this is just for argument's sake tony cruz tony cruz is on orchestra oh, tony cruz is on orchestra thing ain't that just beautiful i guess um let's use this high um, magic card let's just for, for argument's sake um compare so when you compare tony cruz so you know we're comparing tony cruz's um assuming that we're giving him max level we're comparing tony cruz's um this is his player of the week card to this 101 rated pellegrini card bro and the only thing that his pellegrini card really has in essence over him is aggression and speed and we're talking about tony Cru and stamina and we're talking about tony cruz here bro we're talking about like literally one of the best players in the history of football 
better ball control better low passing better lofted passing and this guy is boosting bro better finishing all right finishing really that important to be fair if midfielder place kicking uh, curl or anything really important better defensive and uh, awareness like bro kicking power better like to me in my humble opinion you don't need this pellegrini that's just what it is like if we move it out and we go to uh what we're gonna, we can go smalling we can compare smalling with beckham ball and then we can compare smalling with um so this is his 101 rated card uh boom boom max level 101 rated i guess all of them are 101 rated and we can put beckham ball in the equation so we have france beckham ball we can put this beckham ball card compare uh max level fine realize that hey even though the um the passing stats are not necessary so you know whatever the case may be but the passing the dribbling all of those things are better even though beckham ball is obviously a midfielder whatever um finishing for Chris Smalling is better, which makes no sense. Beckham Ball obviously should have better finishing than um, Chris Smalling. Beckham Ball has so many World Cup goals, so many goals for Bayern Munich, but whatever. And we're talking about with his feet. We're not talking about headers or you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, his heading is obviously better. Chris Smalling, yes, fine. Curl is better for some strange reason. But Beckham Ball's card, that is not even a boosted chip. And keep in mind, Smalling has shutdown boost. Even with the shutdown boost, Smalling still doesn't have as good defensive awareness and defensive engagement, tackling, aggression as um, as, as Beckham ball. The kicking power is better, the speed is better, the acceleration is better, the balance is better. The only thing that Beckham ball misses, wait, Beckham ball have one marking an interception. This, this Beckham ball have one marking an interception. Interesting. See, it's already better than Chris Smalling. But for argument's sake, let's just put in um, delete. Let's put in delete. Show you guys a, a, a player of the week delete card, bro. We're comparing it. max level, bro. Delete is better than a fully chipped out 101 rated Chris Smalling. This is a scam, this is a waste of flipping time. But let's move on to the third one, Tommy Abram. Tommy, oh, no, we have put in Abraham. Boom. This is his card, this one right here. That's the 101 rated one, max level chip 88. Fine, let's put in. Uh, Nisseroy, we're gonna put in Van Nisseroy, we're gonna pick any of his cards. Let's pick this is not even a boosted one. Compare, he's 102 rated, better, better offensive awareness, better ball control, better dribbling, better low passing, better place kicking, same finishing, better, better curl, better tackling, better aggression, have better stats, really and truly. The only thing that Tommy Abram really beat him with, I guess, is the heading and the area of superiority. Congratulations, Tommy Abram. You're 190 flipping two centimeters tall. Like, it makes sense. If you compare him to even Lukaku for crying out loud, Romulo Lukaka, Lakaka, uh, Fox in the Box. When you have a Fox in the Box card, compare max level. All right, so dribbling is better. Lukaku's dribbling is better than Tommy Abram. That is, is, that is crazy, bro. Tight position better. Lofted passing better, curl better, tackling nerve, <laughs> tackling aggression and kicking power better, physical contact, bro, brother, brother, let's be real for a second. This is not looking good for boosted Tommy Abram. I am not opening this trash pot, bro. If you want to waste your money, you can get this pot, but I'm not gonna waste my money on this pot, bro. So don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe, bro, to 50,000 subscribers. I'm out, cause this, bro. If anybody has this card, like if anybody got him, don't worry, I will test him. Like, lend me an account, text me on Instagram. I'll borrow your account because I'm not going to waste money on this. So I'll borrow your account and I'll, uh, I will test him out. But to use him, to actually buy him, mm, nah, I will test him out on somebody else's account. So if you want, you can lend me on Instagram, whatever the case may be. I'm not getting this card. I'm, I'm just keeping it in a book with you. I'm not getting this card. So yeah, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm out.